If you have the book order document open, I'm going to go through the steps with you on that one. Um, before we do much with it, it's helpful to turn on the grid lines. Now, grid lines do not print, but they, lo they locate the cells for you. Uh, if I go toward the top of this table, if I click, you're going to see this icon over here. That'll select my whole table. I can go to Layout and choose View Grid Lines. Now again, these will not print, but they do identify rows and um, columns for you. It says to add a row at the top and merge the cells. So if I'm in the first row and I go to Insert Above, it'll give me a row above. And this is to merge the cells. Now I can, um, since this is already selected and it's just, I, I can go ahead and just go merge cells. It'll give me one big cell. Um, it says type book orders in it. So I'm going to put on caps lock and type in book orders. And then it says to change the font to Arial. So um, I need to select my text, go into Home, I can go here to Times New Roman, choose Arial, and then point size 24. Then it says to use center align for the first two columns. So I'm going to select my first two rows by pointing like this, and I can either click here or I could also go Control E. Now what would look better if I had both of these bolded? So I'm going to also select these and just click on bold. In column E, so this is A, B, C, D, E. So this is E right here. So this in column E, use a formula to compute the cost for each book. So I'm going to click in this cell. I want to go into formula, and what I'm going to do is times 4 times $12.95. So I need the equals, but now I need to um, think where is this? This is in column C3. So I'm going to say C3 and then type the star, the asterisk, and say D3. And I want this to be dollars and cents, so I'm going to choose the third one. I'm going to click OK, and there's my answer. I can go down to the next one now, do a formula, and again, get rid of my everything but the equals, and take, uh, so this would be C4 times D4. So C4 times D4 dollars and cents. Okay. And I can kind of do the same thing I did in the previous one. I can select this. I can go Control C. I can go down here call Control V to um, copy that. And then I'm going to go Alt F9 to show my codes. So this one then would be C5. So I'll select the 4 and make it a 5, select this, make it a 5, and then go Alt F9. Now to make this formula update, I, make, I will go Control A and hit F9 and watch how the second $167.40, if I hit F9 there, well that will all make that, let's see if it will make it go away. Or Looks like with Camtasia on, maybe it doesn't want to do it. Okay, so just found out something interesting when I'm in Camtasia. It will not let me go Control A F9. So I'm going to delete off that formula. So that's kind of good to know. Go into their formula, and I'll just do it by hand. So I'm going to go equals, um, and that's going to be C5 times. D5. Number format, third one, say OK, and there's my answer there. 
So with Camtasia running, when I'm running, I cannot do that. So when you're doing it though, you can copy formulas, go control A and hit F9 to update those. Um, it also says to sum the total cost column. So if I position myself here, go into formula and go sum above, that will grab those. I want a dollar and cent format. So I'm gonna go like that to get my total in. It says to put a double border around the title cell. So I'm going to grab the this cell right here. Um, I will go into design. I'll go into double and it will just be for the cell that I'm in. So all, all borders. Okay. So now I'm going to put a single border around all the other cells so in this case, I'm going to have to do this. Go into lines uh, and choose one. And for right now, I'm going to go all borders. And then I'm going to go back to this one again. And I'm going to make a double border there on the bottom. So I had to do a little backtracking there. It said to set decimal tabs for D and E. I'm, I'm also going to do it for this one. It'll look better if I do. I have to make sure that all of these are left aligned. Okay, so they're all left aligned. When I go into here, I'm going to select these three. I'm going to click over here until I find my decimal tab. So I had to click three times to find that. And I'm going to click up here. And if it's not to my liking, I'm going to hold my alternate key down, slide that over just a bit until these numbers look centered in that area. Then I'll grab these numbers click a decimal point. That one's too far to the right, so hold my alternate key down and slide a little bit left. I'm eyeballing now, trying to make this look nice. So that looks good. And with these, I'm going to click in a, a decimal tab, and then I'm going to go a little bit to the right on this one. And that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and center this table vertically and horizontally. And even though it doesn't ask, I'm going to click on here. If I go Control E, you see how that moved it over um, horizontally? And now I don't have to have my table selected, but if I want to center it on the page, I'm going to go to Page Layout and go to Page Setup, Layout, vertical alignment center. Say OK. And if I look at this now, um, let me go to view and say uh, zoom, let's say we can just go down to whole page and click OK. That's how it's going to look when it's done. So I'm going to go back to 100% uh, again. Just that's more what I'm used to looking at. And I'm going to end this one.